Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and welcome back to the channel and to today's Chelsea transfer news video. Chelsea news video, essentially about transfers. Two players, two very young players and promising players. Kind of the profile of target Chelsea Football Club are looking at. Young, talented players with maybe a side of one experienced player to play in the front line, a la Dries Mertens. But we're not talking about Dries today. We're talking about Kai Havertz of Bayer Leverkusen and Victor Osimhen of Lille. Apparently Lille is just the place to get players at the moment. Both very highly rated and young players that would probably cost quite a bit. Both also being courted by a bunch of European superpowers. I want to talk about both players, their numbers as well to give you guys some context of what they're doing on the pitch and perhaps my opinion on what they would bring to Chelsea Football Club and in fact if they'd threaten any of the players in the current squad as well. So it's going to be très intéressant as they say in France. But I want to take a quick second to remind you there that the majority of my viewership are not subscribed to Football Therapy. Hey man, if you come back every day and watch the content, why not subscribe? It takes a second and if you want to help a brother out, please do like this video. All right then, let's get into it. So as the world, and more so Europe, flatten the curve in this health crisis, perhaps even reach past the peak of the pandemic, I'm not saying things are over, obviously in a crisis like this things can get worse again, but the point being, as there's some form of progress, football makes plans behind the scenes. Of course in the Premier League there is Project Restart, is it called, or something like that, when they want to get the Premier League back. I'm not necessarily a strong advocate of that, I just want everyone to be safe. Anyway, point being, football clubs around Europe are doing loads of work behind the scenes and players are starting to think about their short and long term futures and where they are going to be playing moving forward. Hence agents and players and clubs having a lot of digital discussions about transfers. So like I said in the introduction, I'm going to be talking about two player targets today. Victor Osimhen was one, and also Kai Havertz. But let's start with Kai Havertz of Leverkusen in Germany in the Bundesliga. Havertz is a 20-year-old German international attacking midfielder. Now, his name has surfaced before when it comes to being linked with Chelsea, but over the last kind of day or two, it's happened again across the headlines. Obviously, a very, very highly rated player, and might I say too, an absolute beast on FIFA 20. <laughs> I'm going to put up a screenshot of Kai Havertz's player profile from whoscored.com on the screen. Have a look at that. As you can see, he can sort of play in a general forward role, but generally he's a midfielder that plays either as a cam or on the right more as a number eight. Across the league and Europe this season, he has 16 goal involvements, which is a very, very impressive return generally for a central midfielder or attacking midfielder like Havertz. His performances in the Europa League have got him over an 8 rating on whoscored.com, which is incredibly impressive considering how whoscored can often be quite stingy with their ratings. Generally, he's a very creative player, makes a lot of key passes and has a good passing accuracy. And for a player so, so young, he's very highly rated. And you can understand why loads of big clubs around European and indeed world football would want this player. So, obviously, a good investment regardless. Do I think Chelsea Football Club need uh, Kai Havertz? Well, sadly, I'm going to say it's a big fat no. <laughs> Now, I wasn't a particularly strong advocate of Philippe Coutinho, but I absolutely saw the value in loaning Coutinho with his playing between the lines very well in a number eight central midfield and scoring long range bangers. He'd be a short term stopgap offering quality that helps Chelsea break down low blocks, which they've struggled to do this season. Kai Havertz would, also, would obviously be a better investment if you want to actually fill that position. Very young, very talented, superb long-term investment. But really, for me, buying Kai Havertz over loaning someone like Philippe Coutinho would massively block the likes of Mason Mount, Tino Angerin, Conor Gallagher, all these really promising central attacking midfielders that Chelsea Football Club have on the roster. You know, again, it's, it's not a problem position. I'd imagine it would be quite a big investment to bring Kai Havertz to Chelsea Football Club. 
and really, for me, it doesn't make much sense. Look, don't get me wrong, man, he's a baller. If he turns up at Chelsea, my inner FIFA child's gonna be like, oh, wicked, Chelsea have bought an awesome player. Let's see what happens. But the truth is, I see a lot of greatness in Mason Mount. During this lockdown, I've watched a lot of Chelsea highlights from this season, and really, he's quite a magnificent player, man. I don't know, like, I like, it just doesn't seem like the smartest move in the world. Um, we'll have to see what happens though, but I probably think it's actually an unlikely purchase. So let's move on to the next player of this video, and we all we all know that a problem position at Chelsea at the moment is of course backup striker, uh, another striker to challenge Tammy Abraham. Basically, someone's a player in the centre forward position that you can count on to score goals who isn't Tammy Abraham. Of course, over the last few months, I've spoken of loads of striker targets on football therapy and I have mentioned Victor Osimhen before but let's talk about him today because he surfaced yet again in the football news media world. Liverpool have joined the fight with all the other clubs who want to sign the centre forward. Another youngster, the 21 year old Nigerian international is playing away in Ligue 1 for Lille and is a baller. Remember he scored against Chelsea only this season in the Champions League and what a lovely goal it was too. I'm going to put the who scored graph of his stats on the screen now so you can take a look but as you can see young Victor has a decent amount of goals this season in what isn't a really powerful side in Lille. 17 league goal contributions is very handsome at that point of the league indeed considering the team he's playing for and across club and country the young centre forward has 26 goal contributions in all competitions generally very impressive indeed remembering how young he is and looking at some of his goals he looks like a pretty, like, I don't want to say elite marksman, but a promising young striker. Another real positive sign is that in League Earn, he's won four man of the matches as well, which is a very handsome return indeed. So generally, he looks very, very promising. But Chelsea aren't the only club in for this player. Obviously, Liverpool, Man United, all the names, <laughs> all the clubs that wouldn't mind an extra centre forward have risen to the surface. Uh, the sort of price being touted for the player at the moment is £60 million, which is... I don't even know anymore. If Moussa Dembele of Lyon's 80 million, all bets are off. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what the case is. But to be serious for a second, with the pandemic, you can imagine transfer fees all going down. So what do I think? Would I like this player at Chelsea? Mm, probably yes. At this point, I think both Moussa Dembele and Victor Ossim um, would both offer Chelsea pretty much what they are looking for in terms of a rotational backup striker. It is interesting the media saying Liverpool have joined the race. Where does that leave them with Timo Werner? Is Mane going to go? Is Werner going to play on the left? Are they just going to have loads of strikers because they're the best team in Europe at the moment? Maybe. But he is one of those players that you think would move. Chelsea, of course, are still looking at Gabriel, the centre-half of Lille. They've been negotiating with them and the player for a while to, to sign him, essentially. Can they double swoop, as all the headlines say, and get both players in one window? I don't know, maybe. Maybe like clubs, if they can make a decent amount of money in what is a world health crisis, they will sell two players. Maybe Lee will back themselves to stay in League 1 regardless and see an opportunity to make loads of money. Yeah, anyway, what do you guys think? I really want to get your opinions on both these players I've spoken about in today's video. So get down into the comment section below, express your thoughts on both Kai Havertz and Big Vic of Lille. I want to know, would you take both of them? Would you take neither of them? Let me hear it. And also, if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you to like this video and of course, subscribe if you're new. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers, man. I can almost taste it. And if for some peculiar reason you want to see more of me, why not head over to Yan's Yard, my sister channel, where currently I'm playing FIFA every single day live at 6pm. So the link will be in the top of the description for Yan's Yard, my second channel. Go check it out, give it a sub, and hang out with me every day on FIFA 20. That's it from me, you like all the you enjoy the football that's not going on at the moment, and I will see you later, mate. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk 
trouble. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I let me be.